Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome to Ask Rich episode four. So now just a quick announcement for the Monday and Thursday videos that I do each week. I'm gonna switch the Thursday videos to Fridays. So I'm gonna do Monday and Fridays for my regular videos and I'm gonna keep these Ask Rich episodes for Wednesdays, just to spread it out, make it a little bit easier. So I'll be you know, uploading a new video Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays going forward. So for this viewer question, it is around leasing a car. So I got a question just asking what my thoughts were on leasing a car and why you always hear that it's considered a bad financial decision. So simply put, leasing a car, it is the most expensive way to drive a car. Now, yes, your monthly payments might not be as high as if you purchase a new car, but at the end of the lease period, you, will, you don't own anything. You have no equity inside of that vehicle, so you either have to purchase it at that point at the agreed upon price when you lease the car, or you turn it back in and you have to get another lease. So now the reason that leasing is so expensive is first of all, you're renting the car. So you're not building up any equity in the car. At the end of the lease, you don't own anything. You either have to buy the car outright at that point, you could probably finance it through the dealership, or you turn it back in and you lease a new vehicle. So you get into this cycle of always having a car payment and never building up any equity in the car and never actually owning the car. So that's one reason that it's expensive. But the main reason is because you're always getting a brand new car and cars depreciate in value very much so in the first three years. Those are the years where the value of the car goes down the most. And those are the years that you're renting it. So you're paying for the most expensive years of the car. So on the flip side, the most affordable way to own a car is going to be to buy it after those three years are up. So to buy a used car that comes off lease, that is a affordable way to own a car. For example, if a brand new car costs $30,000, then at the end of three years, it might be worth $20,000. There's been about $10,000 of depreciation in that car. Where on the flip side, if you wait until those three years are up and you buy it from the person that bought it new, you buy it for $20,000 at the end of those three years. Then three years later, that car is probably gonna be worth around $15,000. So you see in the first three years of ownership, you lost $10,000 of the vehicle value. Whereas in the second three year period, you only lost about $5,000 worth of value in the car. So it was about half as expensive to own that car during those three years as it was during the first three years. So always driving a new car is just always gonna be the most expensive way. And now buying versus leasing, it's still gonna be more expensive to lease the car rather than to buy a new car. But honestly, the difference isn't that tremendous. So it also depends on your life and on your lifestyle. So if you wanna have a new car every three years and you like not having the headaches of having to deal with maintenance issues and maybe you get free oil chains when you, changes when you lease the car and it's just simple and you just turn it back in, you don't have to worry about resale value. There are definitely pros to leasing a car. It is much more convenient but just know that it is the most expensive way. But when you compare leasing a new car to buying a new car, if you're only gonna own that car for three years either way, the difference is not tremendous. You don't save a tremendous amount of money by buying it and then getting rid of it three years later and buying a new car as opposed to leasing every three years. So again, a lot of it has to do with you and your individual situation and if you could afford it. The best scenario is that you know you have tons of money to throw around and you could buy a nice $40,000 car, $40,000 car with cash, not have any payments and call it a day and keep the car for 10 years. That would be a good case scenario. But the most affordable way to own a car is to buy a used vehicle and drive it into the ground. Buy it for cash, not have any payments, don't finance it, drive it into the ground. That's the most affordable way to purchase a car, but it just doesn't fit into everybody's lifestyle. So I hope that this answered your question. Please let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys again on Friday with a new video. I will talk to you soon. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. I'll see you again on Friday. Thanks.